course you can join for free it's very uh, easy you just simply fill out that information welcome everyone to one of the most exciting 3d websites in our whole uh, 3d world now here on sketchfab after you've signed in and everything like that my little mission is I want to find Chappie and I am gonna so I was able to so searching for Chappie um, I'm looking for a free one and I found this Chappie here and he looks brilliantly animated that's not a bad one either Chappie there um, that's not too bad Chappie's head to his body um, and he goes Chappie yeah that's not bad Chappie so if you just looked at one of these sort of models let's um, let's have a look at the format of it actually I like the look of that one lost robot Right, so if we grabbed a model like this, looking at the specs of it, it's just a um, doo -doo. so it's <clears throat> just an FBX imported in Blender. Cinema 4D, Unity, and um, see all importers. So here we have Sketchfab importers. So then you can set up where you can automatically um, send your models uh, that you look at in sketchfab into your 3d programs that most programs have the uh, for example omniverse um, has the plugin in it coming back to sketchfab unreal is the same so going back to our model that i was looking at sorry um we can inspect the 3d model and there we are we can tell all about this qualities and vortex um what sort of framing it has i believe it's got a wire frame and it's mapping points so it's at least got something of it you don't want anything it's just like a rubber model um, so I like that one and I kind of like that one let's have a look at this chappy not bad not bad at all okay I'm going to download this one too uh, WRL file. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm sure I'll work it out. Let's go for that into. Uh, I'm going to go for downloads. Um, okay. My downloads and go to the source and try to get the Chappie physical model. I can try this way and it comes in and this is the original form that we have got off um, Sketchfab okay so first of all we've got to get rid of that bottom those two bits there so I shall just clear that Now, with Blender open up, it's very easy. We'll go to File, Import, FBX. I'm going to go to my Downloads to Source, Chappie. Luckily, Chappie is all separate parts. So I'm able to just click that and click that. Uh, we're going to File, do 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 do, File export as FBX um, and to my documents into Chippy and I'll rename this and I'll of course one Chippy robot mm -hmm. 
I can't. I've already done this, so I can't rename. So I just call it Chappy. And then I'm going to cancel because I've already got Chappy. I've already done that in my folder. But save that as an FBX there. The Mixamo site. And if we wanted to upload any character that wasn't bound, wasn't sort of set up, then what we do is basically I've got Chappy. And if I grab the Chappy actually FBX and upload it. And this hasn't been uh, given any bones or any animation. Um, I couldn't get it to work in Character Creator 4 or import it or iClone 7. It is simply just a beautiful model. Now to And if you've done as much as you can, I was unable to put the model into a T pose. Okay, nothing I tried in the other programs and Blender. I'm not very good at Blender. This is basically what I ended up with: just a robot metal kind of FBX, no rigging, no things. And as you've seen, it had a plate at the bottom and attachments there, which I was able to delete in Blender. Now, when it comes to here, untick your symmetry, your chin, right on the, as close as you can to the chin, about, you know, about there. Um, now with your wrist, have a look. It says left wrist, which is over here. So remember you're in mirror. So you've got to go over and do your left wrist. This is when, when you're doing your own model, take your time. Left elbow. This is where it really comes down to whether it will work or not. You've got to pretty well re-educate uh, Mixamo um, that you haven't got a normal model, but you want it to work like a human model. So, right there. Um, left knee. I'm going to go with these blocks here. And that one there. That one there. And the groin pick pretty well central. You should be right. Hit next. <coughs> Pardon me. So the brilliance of Mixamo is that I was unable to... Without, you know, I hadn't worked out Blender yet. And completely um but as far as trying to import it into character creator 4 or iclone 7 and animate it no it would not connect and communicate so that is the goal is to turn a straight statuesque 
the 3D model of Sketchfab into a working, talking, animated um, FBX model or, you know, character in iClone or in Unreal Engine or anything you want. When I first did this, because this is the second time I've done this, I was doing some mighty wishing <laughs> because I love this character and it's taken me a long time to try and find an authentic one. And the next thing I'll be doing is trying to color it and rig it um, with a bit of personality and individualism and model it on the actual real chappy from the movie because I find that movie to be inspiring and brilliant uh, as far as what I'm hoping to create one day, which is animated friends. Okay, and bang, that was a beautiful moment with Jeppy is alive. So we can, um, did I rotate him? It didn't really rotate well, I find. Uh, no, it doesn't want to rotate much. Anyway, hit next. Um, don't show that warning again. Actually, you leave that because sometimes you will. Um, now, the first thing I want to do is try create that T pose. So, uh, now what we'll do is I want to go up to, he's in there now, so T pose. Because this is the position the character created for really wanted. Bang, is that T-Pose. So I'm going to download that as with skin and that becomes the major uh, shape. Now I've already made a folder called Chappie where I've got the last one downloaded but this one is T-Pose Chappie which I don't have so I'll save that one in the folder. Uh, the next thing now is to move into animations and what I want to show is how much you can play with this area here. So, uh, I guess what would be a nice one is to go to um, talk. So, we want uh, to basically, um, uh, I know the character creator can give Chappie any personality he needs, but let's look for some particular ones that might suit what I want to do, which is, I want to know if they've got any robotic moves. Um, yeah, sort of, oh uh, well, what's he look like hip hop dancing? Pretty nice. <laughs> okay, well, well, we'll keep that one. Um, now what I want to show you is this area here. So I'm going to, uh, you don't have to stop it. Trim is pretty well set to uh, a minimum. If we extend that out to there and extend it out to there, we get a longer animation. It'll take a while to calibrate, and this animation will go for a longer time. Want to slow it down? Bring it down the overdrive. Next thing, Jeppy's gonna do a cool dance, right? Uh, focus, let's check what that is. And if you find the arms are getting too close to the body, right? Let's separate them a little bit. So we're going to give more space up to about here. I find the arms are so often touching legs and touching, you know, the hips um, because of the different variations. So we've put a bigger gap between the hands and the body. And I'm pretty happy at that. So I will download. Uh, I'll download that one. Uh, yeah, without skin. It's all right. I've already got the model downloaded as long as you've got the actual FBX downloaded in a straight position or one solid uh, position um, as you'll see the difference in size right so that one there is my actual um, first model I downloaded and that one's the T-Pose and the size of them dictates you know that the actual proper FBX compared to a motion let's look at something um, hip hop as you know when you go into um, what's something more unusual uh, um, Probably doesn't matter, but if we do uh, idle, I'll do idle again because then you get sort of some normal positioning of people. So we have uh, no, that's a bit more of an action. I want a nice idle. Um, okay, with this happy idle, actually we're going to neutral idle. 
Okay, I've already done Happy Island, pardon me. So, uh, I'll get something that's actually more relevant. Um, old Man Idol, no. Uh, unarmed Idol, Little Dwarf Idol, Idol Fight, um, Standing with Briefcase, Warrior Idol. Um, pardon me, when I decide, Catwalk Idol. Um, okay, let's get uh, Sad Idol. Okay. No, oh, I like that. Let's bring it out to here. Bring it out to there. That means we get 200 frames instead. Yep, all right, yep. Mm, 167 frames. Cool. Slow it down a bit. I'm going to kick that stone a little bit more. Just kick it a little bit more. Let's bring your arms more apart. Yep. No, a bit too much. Maybe about there. Yeah, very nice. Download, bang. I like that one. And this is the fun part. You start to make your own motions. Even though we're getting the pretty well what you think is a set motion from uh, Mixamo, it's not. So what else can we have? Walk. in place unfortunately we have swapped around we need to pan around yeah. so now there's chappy walking which <coughs> I like so I'm going to download that and <coughs> and now I'm going to jump to widening the motion as long as I can and bring the overdrive right down and then put up the arms a bit wider. Now Chappy, it's walking slow motion cool. So we can download that one. And we'll change that one to slow. Um, what else can we do? Uh, I'm trying to think. Right. Okay, that'll do for the moment. So, pretty well, like you say, depending on the complexity of the motion, and if you go into a bigger one, we have here, all right, so in place. This is one where it's probably a little bit more relevant. We'll blow out the trim to that size, put our arms. See, we can move the arms so they're way out like this. We can speed it, slow it right down. Walking really slowly and carefully. We can posture. Uh, yep, not as crouched, right? If we want them really crouched over, we bring it right down to there. And then the overdrive, sorry, is what we'll also bring down to here. And now we've created a real slow crouching. So. And put a name to it as well, like I say, slow. Uh, uh, I don't need that. And then I was wanting flying, okay. What have we got? So we'll see what we can do with flying. I like that flying kick as well. In place, overdrive, bring it right down, arms, bring you wide. See? Now we can um, awareness, what does that do? Excellent, see? Now we turn that up there, and we have now got him looking all around. Ah, oh, beautiful, okay? And what shape, what, what is his leg sort of doing? Um, bring his legs more together. Alright, I like that better. 
his legs are together and they can change his arms right out to their shooting the head and uh, blow it right out to as long as we want okay download and I'm going to call that fine looking slow then I'm going to change his arm space to back to beside his arms. Or hanging down. Uh, actually, what was this one? Character arm space. Uh, no, okay. Ah, character arm space. What am I doing? Wrong one. So let's bring his arms back to here. That. Download that one. And that is flying, um, flying, looking, arms in, slow. I like to put as much information because we have too many files. We've got to put the information. So, what else do I like? Awareness. Like I said, that's brilliant. He's now looking around. Um, overdrive. All right, going fast. Probably too fast. So it's a bit there. All right, that's him doing the same thing, only faster. So we'll go for flying looking or flying looking slow now that we've finished getting chappy up into mixima and we've been able to give him animations um, let's go to create character and i'm going to go to the new chappy that i've made that is uh documents into my chappy and now we're going to try bring the t-pose chappy in I'm um, going to try this one at first. Mix them up character. Excellent. They've picked it up. Now this is the difference. Thank you, Chippy. Now let's see a big file. Alright, now Chippy's finally in. CC4. Hello chappy, welcome to CC4. Now, your foot's a little bit bent, but what have we got? We've got a choice of idling, that's what I want to see. And chappy is alive. Hello chappy. Welcome to my world chappy. And that's how you turn any model that you get off Sketchfab. Okay, so into a living being animating. Actually, I'll give it a better animation. Let's go to these ones are a lot of fun. Um, animation. Uh, do pose expression. Yeah, expressions are excellent. Um, where are we? Male. No, no, it's not that one. It's gesture. Expression, pose, motion. Um, oh, still getting used to all this. Animated. Yeah, um, calibrated. And then into facial uh, body rig. Right? And then you get these whole workouts, which are brilliant. This is this is where you more see a human person working. So, let's do the... Ah. Got to make sure we picked you. Let's do some workout, Chappie. Excellent movement of the arms. I haven't seen any real clash. That's good. I like that. That's nice, Chevy. Very good. Okay, so 